Hey guys, All in Crypto here, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video. Today, we're going to be continuing to cover the Terra Luna situation. You guys know that we've been updating you pretty much daily. We didn't update you guys daily because we put up quite a big video, um, or certainly a very important video that you should all definitely watch if you want to know what's not just going on with these markets, but markets across the board. But anyway, we've been updating you on the Terra situation, and the longer this goes on, the worse it gets. I mean, these idiots literally crashed the cryptocurrency market um, and they did that in the name of saving their UST peg uh, and trying to keep it to a dollar. And we're going to check all that out. We're going to look at what the Lunar Foundation actually now holds in terms of reserves. They still hold AVAX and BNB. So, mm, you know, as somebody who's actively looking to short this market and short the rallies, maybe these two might now be more in my scopes than they've previously been as their reserves actually haven't been touched. Um, but what we are going to do, guys, is we're going to really uncover what happened a little bit more. You guys know that, of course, the UST lost its peg. Lots of people calling this attack an attack. Um, and there are definitely um, sort of signs that this was an attack, but it's largely irrelevant. I mean, a project that can have something like this happen to it doesn't even deserve to have a couple of hundred thousand in terms of TVL. Because you can see the absolute devastation that this has caused to many, many people um and it's it's sad you know and it, it's a stark reminder that crypto is still a very new and innovative space that has a long way to go and this is going to bring regulators kicking and screaming and we're actually looking at a number of altcoin uh, or sorry stablecoin protocols that you know i think may um not do so well in light of all this so we're going to get into it guys we'll be hearing from the lfg luna foundation guard um, and what their kind of stance was what their reserves were before all of this happened and what they now are we're also going to be diving into the price. Where are your dip buyers now, guys? These same idiots told you to long it at $20, $10, $5, $0.01. Uh, and now they're doing a similar thing. And what people don't understand is how on earth does Luna come back from this? Yes, they're trying to come up with ways that they can sort of redo things. But the big thing for me is there is currently 6.91 trillion Luna in, in circulation. How, how, what do you do to those people that you've now sold that Luna to, to try and maintain the peg? What do you take it back from them? You know, you can't have, when you have that much supply, I think that's more supply than pretty much anything in the top 100. And we'll try and find Luna and UST. We will also look at yeah, UST and where that's currently at. I believe I have that somewhere. Um, it's next to Wheaton and First Majestic, which is some silver miners. Uh, well, one's more of a gold miner. Um... But we're going to get into it all, guys, so let's start the video. Let's start off with the official word from the LFG Foundation. As of Saturday, May 7th, 2020, two, the Luna Foundation Guard held a reserve consisting of the following assets. 80,394 BTC, 39,914 BNB, um, 26,281,671 USDC, 23 million USDC, 1, nearly 2 million AVAX, um, half a million UST, which of course is their own coins, and of course 1.6 million Luna. Consistent with its non-profit mission of focus on the health of the Terra ecosystem, beginning on May the 8th, when the price of USD began to drop substantially below $1, the foundation began converting this reserve to UST. So what happened was there was a huge sell pressure that was then really caused a cascade of people going right we're worried we're going to get out of this at whatever what you know we don't want to hold this which of course added to the sale pressure and the lunar guard foundation essentially decided then to take their reserves and swap it for ust to try and maintain that peg to try and kill off and crush the sale pressure but what they've done in doing that is they've caused the rest of the market to crash which was counterintuitive for the fact that ust was actually backed by Bitcoin and a number of these other assets. So it was a situation that, and when we look at the uh, CZ's response to all this and how he said, look, this was very poorly handled. Um, but I'll read on and then we'll get into some articles and then we'll talk about a number of things surrounding it. I mean, I, I still can't believe you've got people trying to push Luna at this point. It, it, it's dead in the water as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, and the issue with this is when you burn that many people, you don't get to come back from it. 
It's as simple as that. When you take billions of dollars off of this market, you don't get to come back from that. And these guys that are going, oh, well, you know, it just happens. No. Maybe in a very small protocol that's just launched with a couple of hundred K in there. Sure, whatever. That happens all the time. But not when you're the you know, top 10 stable coin and you're one of the top 10 cryptocurrency assets that has, I mean, this is a catastrophic, this is history, guys. I'll read on. The foundation did so by directly exchanging on-chain swaps and transferring BTC to counterparties to enable them to enter trades with the foundation in large size on a short notice. So they did it on market. Which, of course, caused the... I mean, considering these guys were, and we'll see how the Michael Saylor situation unfolds, supposed to be the sort of champions of Bitcoin, they were actually the very reason it, it, it capitulated in the way that it did. Um, and it was really to try and save their UST peg, which at this point was in vain, um, to be honest, because we'll take a look at where the UST peg is currently. LFG directly sold two, uh, 26 million USDT, and 23 million USDC for an aggregate of 550 uh, million UST. Transferred 52 Bitcoin, uh, 52,000 Bitcoin to trade with counterparties. Net of the excess um, of 5,313 BTC that they have returned for an aggregate of. So basically, what they're doing here. Or what they did, and we'll look at it here because this is the reserves back then and now, was in order to save their peg, which hasn't worked, by the way, guys. I mean, I don't even think the UST is 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 here anymore. Um, or it is here, but it's certainly not in the top um, 100 anymore, I don't think. We can have a little look. I'd be interested to find out where Luna actually is right now um, and how well your dip buyers have done. Um, and we, we even said, look, if you want to put 20 quid on and take a complete gamble and that's what it is, whatever, you know, we're not going to stop you from doing that. But I'm not taking part in it and I'm not putting no money into this. Uh, I wasn't doing it a cent. I wasn't doing it. We shorted it. We got out at uh, uh, just under $40. $40. We didn't ride this the whole way down because I actually didn't envision that this would have been the case. Um, but you can see here, guys, and we'll pull this up. This was what they had on the 7th of May. You can see that over by tokens on the left hand side. And then what they've currently got now on the 16th of May. You know, look at the Bitcoin. They only have 313 Bitcoin left and they had 80,000. These guys, these idiots actually crashed the cryptocurrency market. Kind of makes me think Bitcoin could be in for a bit of a bounce. I don't know. I mean, there's so much, you know, this is dam it's so damaging, guys. It's, it's just, you know... You could even compare this to be worse than BitConnect, to be quite honest, in terms of this, the crash. In fact, you could. Um, and I was somebody that was about for BitConnect, never took part in it myself, but I had plenty of friends that were wrapped up in it. Um, and, and, you know, we've got a podcast coming out with a mate of mine that got into crypto around about the same time. Um, just a, a nice, friendly chat talking about the market back in 2017 because it was, it was crazy. Um, anyway, that's for another video. You can see uh, they've sold... Um, saying there's no difference with BNB, but there's a 100% difference. They sold all their USDT, all their USDC, um, and of course, you know, haven't changed their AVAX or BNB. And I've actually accumulated a load of um, UST and Luna. Now I'm looking at this and going, when are they going to have to sell AVAX and BNB? Never. Who? What happens with that? I mean, that's a huge sell pressure. And the reason that they wouldn't have sold BNB and AVAX... First of all, CZ would have spanked them. He would have put them over their knee and absolutely give them a spanking for doing that. And also, that would crush AVAX. I mean, AVAX in a tender situation already, but that would have absolutely have killed it. So at least they kind of went, okay, well, we're not going to take out your small altcoins. We know that USDC and Bitcoin can probably absorb this. And it's actually absorbed it quite well. Um, but at the same time, them doing this really crashed the entire market. And this actual article, and you can see this here, guys, the article is um, from Cointelegraph. 80,000 BTC gone. What's left in Luna's reserve wallet? And you can see. And, and the thing, the reason I'm not sure that they can recover is because they minted 6.9 trillion tokens. What, what are you going to do with them? Are you going to have to burn them? Are you going to have to get people to merge onto Luna 2? Are you going to, you know, and, and there's a maybe like a, a, a thousand for one swap or something? I just don't understand. Um, and this is what your idiots that were telling you to buy the dip at $1.10 and all this stuff. 
don't get is they didn't understand the fundamentals behind actually what was happening and how the supply, their kind of way to um, maybe at last resort try and tether the peg again and, and re-peg it was essentially to, to print a load of supply. Um, and it's too late for it, I believe. I mean, this is Luna today. It's currently at 0 0.00018 cents. Where were the people... Guys, those people telling you to long this and putting up pictures, oh, I've just bought 100,000 Luna and all this nonsense. You know, that's exactly what it is, nonsense, degenerate gambling, and it's not advice that, you know, or it's not people that I think are worth listening to because what that's really shown is that's their, been their whole strategy throughout the prior bull market is just buying and aping into coins. Do I have UST here? Yeah. Current valuation of UST, so it's actually gotten a lot worse, is 0 0.08. I feel sorry for anybody who was holding UST. Um, I, I, it's always great when you get people that come out at this stage and go, oh, it was so obvious that was going to happen. It actually wasn't that obvious. Maybe it was to a few people. I, I actually personally used Anchor Protocol uh, and at one point had held UST. Um, the second we saw that wobbling and it was something that, you know, we put maybe tens into, not not hundreds. Um the second that, I mean, this is always a risk. And, and my, my issue with this is, does this cause a, cas a cascade of regulatory scrutiny and, and actually damage to your other stablecoin protocols? My guess is it's actually going to do that. Um, I'm not actually sure where Luna is. Um, I never really typically come down. Sushi swap, what a fall from grace, huh? Um, I never typically come all the way down here, <laughs> to be honest. But I will certainly um, check it out. Moon River, that's a steal. Um, you've got Hex, which never makes sense while they're on page 200. Um, but anyway, um, Terra, here we are. 211th position. Wow. I'm not sure where the Binance have actually started trading them again. And people, there was videos yesterday going, oh, we've made 100,000%. No, you didn't. You know, and what's 100,000% when it's gone down? You know, 99%. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, so it is obviously still trading on Binance, but with BUSD, they stopped the USDT pair because uh, that's obviously the most popular. Um, and that's where the majority of volume is. They've also got it on KuCoin and they've got it on a few other places, but it, it's not doing well at all, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully nobody got too burnt on this. I know some of you did. Just remember, guys, you can always make it back, you know, and, and in the crypto space, you can do that in a short period of time. Um, if you know what you're doing. That being said, I'm going to love and leave you on that note, guys. I just thought I'd update everybody on the situation. I don't see a way of them coming back from this. They're going to have to do some sort of merge, which is going to involve burning their, you know, 6.9 trillion Luna, uh, which doesn't seem relevant. It, it, it just is it's such a mess that I'm just like, you know, I'm not getting involved. I don't want anything to do with this. We're going to keep you guys up to date because I know many of you held Luna. Um, what was this Coindesk article saying? Luna Foundation Guard left with 300 and. 13 um, Bitcoin in or after UST crash. The announcement comes after a report that over a billion dollars of Terra's Bitcoin reserves are unaccounted for. These guys are, and this is the other thing, by the way. Here it says they sold 80, or it says they had 80,000 Bitcoin. It says they sold 52,000. So where's the other 30,000, bro? What happened there? And they only got 5,000 back that they didn't manage to sell. Mm, you know, that's, uh, you know, a lot of money, by the way, guys, that's just gone missing and that they can't account for right now. However, and I'll just show you guys this once more, because many of you guys won't know about any of this sort of stuff. And, and your other YouTubers certainly ain't telling you. They're just telling you to buy the dip and, and hope for a... Or whatever and i'm not look you guys do what you want if that's what you want to do that's fine but they've got like nearly zero percent uh or they only have 300 and um 13 bitcoin left so they they don't have that extra 30 thousand btc so very interesting guys but i've wombled off i've wombled off i've rambled on for way too long guys i'm gonna love and leave you on that note if you enjoyed the content like it's always appreciated so as a comment make sure you hit that subscribe button click that notification bell and i'll catch you all in the next youtube video thanks a lot for watching guys